Hello, this is Jake, and welcome back to another video on my automotive channel. And today, you are finally going to see Hugo's new interior. So what I've done is I've parked him up in the Forest of Dean in Blue Bow Woods, which you can probably tell from all the blue bows behind me and all the trees. And yeah, Hugo is right over there. So, my favourite thing, steering wheel, of course. I mean, look at that. It's not original, obviously. I thought, I'm going to be driving the car all the time. I might as well have a nice wheel. So, I put that wheel on it, and yeah, it's probably the only thing that is not original Fiat, but it still looks really good, and it's my car. Um, the seats are fantastic, really are. So these were done in Italy, had the stripes fitted and the name embroidered. And same with the rears there as well. I could have had the stripes on the rear, but I decided against it. Um, just because I thought it might be a bit too much with the Italian stripes going over the back as well. Plus I knew I'd have my cushions in here. The door cards, pretty basic, but I got them done. Um, I do want to replace these with chrome ones. That's one of my next jobs. And also also the uh, knee guard here needs doing. The carpet was one of the first jobs, which you probably all remember that, me and my friends taking that out of the car. But the interior is stunning. As for the back seats, like I said, I didn't go for the stripes. However, I am gonna put a piece up here that hides the black and it matched the interior. Also, I still gotta put the insulation behind this rear seat where it's not attached properly and um, that's why there's a gap there so we'll put the insulation in and then that'll be sorted um, I could have changed this as well and I probably will eventually um, to something to fit Hugo hopefully to match this but I'm really really pleased with how it's turned out the door cards everything the carpet um, once this knee guard's done That'll really help as well because the old dash is black at the moment. Um, I don't want to change this. This is all going to be original, but I do want to change the knee guard. Um, but there you go. It's it's looking great. It really is. It's been a long process. Um, I spent a lot more than expected because of the seats being custom done with the embroidery and everything. But it really sets the car off. It makes it my own little Fiat 500. Is how I would have. You know, if I had to buy one brand new and pick out like you do with supercars and that, it's pretty much what I would do. Um, I really love it. I really do. I have so many people come up to the front of the car and look in now and see the interior. And these stripes blend in with the stripes on that side. Originally, I did think about just having stripes on the one seat. But I thought, you know what, no, let's do it that side. Um, one thing I did talk about doing um, was the seat belts, and I still... That's still on my list to do. Um, seat belts with the coloured stripes, um, like this. But it's still, it's something I want to do, but it's something I'm not 100% sure on. So we'll think about that. But the centre console is original. This just goes on top of the carpet. 
Um, you can buy covers for the gear stick and handbrake, but I didn't want to. The only thing I should have done was painted this before we put a carpet in, but that's a job for the winter, I suppose. It's the case of just removing the seats, masking everything off, and getting that sprayed up. But there you go. I hope you like the new interior. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. It's the best job I've done. My first actual interior job on a car as well. Apart from changing the seat belts on my 911, I'm really pleased how this one's turned out. There we have it. There is Hugo. His new interior is looking fantastic. Like I said, there's one or two things I still want to get sorted out, but I can get that done. Um, check out the Facebook page, the Classic Fiat 500 Facebook group. Link in the description. They've been great. They've helped out with a few things that I had trouble with, like door handles and that. But yeah, thank you all for watching. There'll be links in the descriptions where I got the parts and everything like that and where I got them fitted. Um, I will do a shout out video next because I do forget the guy's name who um, actually fitted the covers and everything. But I'll probably do a, a video dedicated to that because he does a fantastic job. So thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you want to see more on Hugo and Hugo's sister, then that's what you got to do. Thanks again. Enjoy.